So let's start with the minimum requirements for Microsoft Lite Sim 2024. There are some big changes compared to Microsoft Lite Sim 2020. So the detailed specs are on screen right now, but here's the gist of it. So operating system, you're going to need to at least run Windows 10 with the latest updates. Uh, we're going to be only running DirectX 12. There's no DirectX 11 anymore. The CPU for AMD users, you'll need at least a Ryzen 5 2600X. And for Intel users, it's going to be a Core i7 6800K. That's going to be the minimum. RAM, the minimum is now 16 gigabytes of RAM, um, up from eight gigabytes in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. So for a GPU, you're going to need at least a Radeon RX 5700 or a GeForce GTX 970, each with at least four gigabytes of VRAM. Storage, so this is the good news. We have a reduction in storage now. We only need to have 50 gigabytes thanks to improved streaming technology, but that also brings a downside with it, and that's internet bandwidth. You're going to need at least 10 megabits per second for streaming data, so you have to watch your internet speed. So the minimum specs have gone up in terms of CPU power, RAM, and GPU requirements, but you'll save on storage space compared to Microsoft Lite Sim 2020. So moving on to recommended specs for Microsoft Lite Sim 2024, the detailed specs are on the screen again. So CPU for recommended is going to be a Ryzen 7 2700X for AMD, and for Intel users, it's going to be an i7 10700K. The recommended RAM for this is actually 32 gigabytes, so that's quite high compared to 16 gigs in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. The GPU, you want a Radeon RX 5700 XT or a GeForce RTX 2080, uh, each with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. So with internet, the recommended speed is going to be 50 megabits per second for smooth streaming and better performance. Uh, these specs aim to let you play at 1440p resolution with high settings targeting 30 FPS or, or higher. So 30 FPS is kind of low on the spectrum of FPS, but it is reasonable that you can fly and have a pretty good experience at 30 FPS in Microsoft Flight Sim. I've flown many times with 30 FPS in a flight sim and it's actually not not that bad it's it's a pretty good target to kind of aim for um, higher is obviously better but if you can hit 1440p with 30 frames per second and you're probably pretty high on the settings it'll probably end up being a pretty nice experience so if you're aiming for the ideal experience in microsoft flight sim 2024 here's what you need to know the detailed specs are going to be on the screen again so CPU it has to be a high-end processors like the AMD Ryzen 7 7900X or the Intel i7 14700K. RAM, a hefty 64 gigabytes of RAM is considered ideal. So GPU, the top tier graphic cards like the Radeon RX 7900 XT or the GeForce RTX 4080, each with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. So for internet, they're looking for speeds of 100 megabits per second is recommended for best streaming experience. So these specs are aimed at delivering 4K resolution at ultra settings, achieving 40 to 50 frames per second or higher. So let's go over some of the key changes and what they mean for performance. So Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 will run exclusively on DirectX 12. So you have to make sure that you can support DirectX 12. The SIM now makes better use of multi-core CPUs, so the processors with more cores will give you a smoother experience. Even with an 8-core CPU, you'll see improved performance compared to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. So you're going to need more RAM. The jump to 32 gigabytes recommended and 64 gigabytes ideal. While 64 gigabytes isn't mandatory, having more RAM helps, especially if you run other applications like recording or streaming softwares alongside it. So the graphic requirements have increased to handle the important visuals and more detailed environments. So we have to make sure we have a stronger GPU going into 2024. Internet speed is more important than ever. If possible, upgrading your internet plan to meet the recommended or ideal bandwidth for optimal streaming is probably a good idea. A lot of this SIM is gonna rely on internet. So you're gonna definitely need an internet connection at minimum but you need to at least hit these uh, the minimum specs for your internet speed. Storage requirements, as I mentioned earlier, is good news. The storage requirements has decreased from 150 gigabytes in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 to 50 gigabytes. And this is why we need the higher internet speed because there is more being streamed to our system live. 
so we don't need to store as much on our hard drives but we do need to have that streaming in at a steady pace to make sure we don't have any issues so i hope you have found this helpful if you did make sure you hit that like button subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video happy flying